Aliana DeFries is a student or was a student in the 21st Senate District who had to go to school on her own. Her mom, of course, took her to the first bus stop and she had to get to the second bus by herself. And because someone picked her up, raped her, murdered her, beat her, um, she ended up dead. And so the parents came to me along with a constituent in my district and posed a question as to why um, people are not alerted when their children don't show up at school. She would be here today had I gotten that alert when I was supposed to. They used to send them out early in the morning, like 8.30, I would know if she was late. And I didn't even know she was gone. <sighs> 10 hours later is a really long time. Kind of dressed up for the father door to dance. It was hurtful uh, because I thought that the alert, the bill having her name on it would be a part of her legacy. I only did so that, you know, everybody would know that this bill was passed. For the sake of future lives and and my daughter lost her life in the process for a change to happen. And they didn't even put her name on it. She liked to photobomb the pictures even though I know she was- When, when you hear laws that are, are named after people, you, you know where they are and you know what was, why they became to be. You know, like everybody knows the Amber Alert. <laughs> and everybody should know the Aliana Alert. The system that we are in has made a determination of who is more valuable than others. That is a fact. And I, I know it is uncomfortable for many of my white, white colleagues to acknowledge it because you are a part of it. You know what I'm saying? It, that's, it, it's tough, but it's the truth. I very much want to stress that I don't believe there is a single member that evaluates their support of these namesake bills on what the ethnicity of the victim is. It's about those who are elected having an understanding of the system that we are in and being committed to putting more balance into the system that was never designed for all.